I'm a track star running through life chasing my dream. Hey y'all, just got to the race. It's race day. A little nervous, I ain't gonna lie. Try hard life, right? I'm number 93. Consequently, most of the runners in this race were not alive before 93, so I feel like that bodes in my favor. Obviously, rather than consequently, I meant incidentally. Because they, it's not that they weren't alive till after 93 because I'm number 93. It's because they just, it happened. It's, it's an incident. Right Achilles is aching. It's been hurting me for the last week. That's when I strained the ligament behind. We're gonna see how this goes. Just saw this this uh, teacher from the middle school who runs marathons. So I'm gonna try to stick with that guy. <laughs> Just get off the phone with my mom because everybody knows that's an essential part of a balanced breakfast time 5K. Achilles really hurts. I don't know, man. Run to throw up. That's all I gotta say. I got the shoes on. We're ready to go. My brother's not here to see this, he's sleeping. But my mom's gonna film for me, so everybody give a big shout out to Eric's mom. Hooray! Go get him, Junior! A few moments later. Way to go, Junior. 17.20 right now. Try to chase a marathoner. About like 20 or 7. Gotta get in shape, man. But hey, it was fun. Had some time to recover, some time to reflect. About to change back into my trainers. I got fourth place, about 2020. Definitely not 1720. <laughs> Definitely not even 1820. But hey, fourth place is good. I went with a, oh, with a marathoner. Um, yeah, my principal's calling me over for a group photo right now. Uh, went out too hard. Hit. Hit sort of halfway to oxygen, Dad, a little bit early. Once you run out of out of oxygen and start trying to play catch up, it gets a little tricky. Course was a hard course; it's all pavement. Um, these shoes don't give you any any uh, the upside down any support. Um, idea is just they're really light, so you don't have to carry anything extra along with you. But downside of that is. The only thing you can put into it is what your legs and your lungs will give you. I think I still did better than if I had worn my trainers. Um, overall, not bad. I hadn't run a 5K in 8 years. Only been training for 2 weeks. Pretty much a superhero for 20 minutes at that point. Hashtag humble brag. I gotta go jump in this group photo. Uh, I'll catch y'all soon. Best part of the race right here, guys. I'm filming this for YouTube. This is gonna be awesome. Oh yeah. Show the bread. That's a good Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely product placement. They're getting. Uh, they're gonna activate their sponsorship on YouTube today. Chabasso Bakery. If you want to sponsor my YouTube channel, I will give you the best, the best endorsement I can give, and I will push your product in every single video I make from here on out. And I'm eating at least three bananas this morning. <laughs> Always fail with a time of 2022 Eric Place. Yay! I'm Derby's third best at, at Derby's best uh, out of the males, but it's pretty good, I think. I had a stick of this bread, and it is really good. I'm not even. I'm not even playing. I took like three more breads. There's one, two, three. So really, I got five breads. Probably I got some food in my teeth. Try not to smile too much. Official time was 2022. 20, I ran a 631 mile pace, which is 
9.2 miles an hour for 20 minutes. Could I have run faster? Yeah. If I had trained for more than two weeks, I definitely could have run faster. The guy who won ran 17.25. He went out so quickly. I knew, I knew. I go for the win, man. I don't just settle for second. I I knew the only way to win was to just stick with him and hope that I could do it. But I felt him going out at like a five minute flat pace. And by the time I slowed down to try to get my own pace, I couldn't really get it. I was a little uh, winded. So middle schoolers caught me at the end of the race. And after the race, I thanked them for saving me from myself. This girl middle schooler, man, gave me a run for my money. Not even playing real talk, but I put in work. When they caught up to me, I said, they are not gonna beat me. <laughs> no way, I'm not gonna lose to some middle schoolers. So, I had a good finishing kick. Good vibes from this whole thing. Definitely an interesting and worthwhile pursuit. A good way to, to spend your Saturday morning a little differently than you usually would. Just feeling really healthy right now. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this sort of positive energy into all my Last of Us videos forever. That's my, that's my promise to you guys. This has been Eric from Nice Crew. Thank you for joining me on my run.